Welcome gamers, one and all, thanks so much for clicking on the video, oh, and I see you've already hit the like button, muchos gracias. Per usual, I'll be your host, the one and only God Hand, which you should know by now, but if you don't, I won't hold it against you. Am I not merciful? <laughs> what I got for you today is a really fun TDM from the 60s going about 408, but I know y'all don't care about that, and I don't want to talk about that. As you know, just a few days ago the Titans finally fell and carpal tunnel enthusiasts haven't left their councils and keyboards since. The CDC has issued a statement outlining measures to combat the recent outbreak of virginity, but says quote, on March 25th, we will give up hope. For those four that aren't counting down with the rest of us, the 25th is when the game comes out for the rest of us. Because naturally, the game should be played first by the elite. Right Prez? Fucking nerds. After eating some strange mushrooms the homeless man gave me and hallucinating for some time about the giant off-world robotic mosh pit that I'll soon be a part of, I started thinking about other games, other upcoming titles that had piqued my interest. So since I had no idea where I was going or how I got on the highway, I slammed on the brakes and made this list. First, we got Destiny, a RPG FPS by Bungie Studios, the original developers of Halo, which was the hotness. These guys know the formula for success, lest we forget. I'm pretty sure most people's uneasiness about this game come from the fact that it's a new idea. But I mean, everything starts off new and scary at some point, just ask your mom. In the game, you play as the future Clint Eastwood, looking through the remains of humanity throughout the galaxy to find treasure or whatever else can help you keep Ike away after the whole race got Tina Turnered up. Next, there's Dark Souls 2. Now, while I never played the original game myself, I derived great joy and pleasure sitting behind my friends as they decorated their room with itty bits of controller. Saying the game made them angry doesn't do it justice. Two of my friends actually turned into Akuma. Dark Souls is the most expensive game on the market. They trick you by hiding part of the cost in controller replacement, but I see their game. And the game has to be good. I mean, I've seen that thing sworn off so many times, but yet picked right back up. Third, we got The Order 1886. It's a game set back in the day with the technology of today. You're running around the slums of England as that white guy, beating up on anybody with less money than you. You're a part of some sausage fest cult that runs around trying to save the world all day instead of drinking Kool-Aid. Bottom line, it's a beautiful game with an interesting premise. What more can you ask for? Moving right along, we got The Witcher 3. I'm new to the franchise, but I love what they did in part two, which I'm still playing, so please no spoilers. I haven't seen much on it, but based on what's in the other games and that crazy cinematic that they put out, it's gonna be be an awesome game. Next up we got Deep Down, the only title that you have yet to hear of probably. I don't know anything about this game. When I first saw it, I thought it was some new Dark Souls. It might be a Nihon only exclusive, which would be a shame because the game looks incredible. Seriously, make sure you check out the link in the description. Getting right back to mainstream, we got Watch Dogs. In this game, you play as the resurrected George Orwell and you're pissed! So you enroll yourself in computer science classes at your local community college, graduate, get a gun, and start to tear down the whole surveillance state around you. Rebel life? Seriously, so the game looks great, and I really agree with the premise of fighting the surveillance state, something I really believe in, so I can't wait to play this game. And last but not least, we have My Heart, Kingdom Heart. It's weird, I'm so happy that they're making the game, but I'm like scared that they're gonna screw it up. Ugh, but that's normal, I guess. I'm sure when they release something about the game, I'll be more relaxed. But that's the commentary guys, the list was in no particular order, please leave a comment if you agree, if you have any other games that you're looking forward to, let's have a discussion. God hand, out.